we are in a war as it relates to people just being negative. Oh my God. We are under attack. Yes, me, but you as well. If I'm under attack, we under attack. But I need people to take a stance with me against corruption. But I'm gonna show you this time so you can see what I've been saying the entire time. And I'm just waiting. Y'all better pay attention because it's big. And when I come out, come out swing she obviously is dealing with a lot of issues it's the missing board meetings is the accusation of corruption it's the problem with her trustees on many multiple fronts right she having a problem with dalton trustees she's having a problem with the township trustees she's frustrated with a lot of issues right and now she is gone in a way where i i, I want to i would like to know did her lawyers told her this is a good idea did, did she decide to do this on her own what lawyer would allow your client to have a ranting hour and a half live on Facebook? Is that something a lawyer would advise you to do? So I'm wondering what is really going on here? Cause this was, a, this is odd. This is another, and, and she does a lot of odd things, but this was a, this was desperate. She's just gonna try to probably bring it as many people down as possible. She is very defensive extremely defensive defending her actions and how well she is she as a leader even against all these accusations of corruption and competence she continuously portrays herself as a victim of smear campaigns and unfair criticism repeatedly stating that the board and others are conspiring against her uh, i am here today just to let you know it's a lot of uh dumb stuff going on and it's a lot of people that's being manipulated by people that you know and unfortunately, they sit on my board here at Thornton Township. Um, I need you to understand that it is a conspiracy uh, against me, Tiffany Henry, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to prove it, and I'm gonna give you the evidence coming up sooner than later. With no, again, no proof of this. It's politics. I don't know if it's a conspiracy. When you are running for, for office, so you have a position, and if you're not good at it, many people are going to talk about it and it will spread around. But she's protective of this record, right? She's talking about all these achievements. Cause y'all weren't born yesterday. Y'all know this is a smear campaign, right? Smear campaign. That's what they do to people that they cannot control, that they cannot get out the way. And when I mean I get out the way, you can't get the people to hate them. When you talk about the, the fake hate, that people that don't live in our town. We talk about the ones that's here that really, really love they're Superman. They really appreciate all the things that I've done. Being in office in a short time, I came in actually showing up and showing up. I mean, the, the lawyers can't control you because I don't think any decent lawyer will allow you to talk for a half an hour, hour and a half on Facebook. That just wouldn't make any sense. And she talked about this love, love on each other, but she's extremely combative, right? Talking about Chris Gonzalez, calling Carmen a liar accusing them, you know, basically of their sabotaging the, the town, uh, town, township's work. And obviously she takes shots at the media, YouTubers, all of the, all, everybody, everybody is a, everyone is doing wrong except her. Last but not least, um, Chris Gonzalez and Carmen the liar. Stop playing with the residents of Thornton Township. We have things to do here. Come pay these bills. You have small uh, mom and pop vendors on here. Like, let me tell you things they took out. Let me just tell you this, this nutball stuff. This is what I be talking about. Calumet Bakery. Calumet Bakery has been a vendor forever at Thornton Township. This before me. This is what I be talking about with people. It's so much hate to me instead of you taking care of the job for Thornton Township. Take me out of the equation. What is the job that you're supposed to do? Pay the bills. And then she starts with the motivational speech. We all got to come together invoking themes of unity and perseverance and strength. It doesn't look healthy. That, that rant wasn't healthy. It needed a structure. She should have had a 10 minute speech, maybe at the township explaining what she wants to talk about. Cause a lot of what she said could have been done in 10 minutes. Right. But a lot of it, it's, it's, she's trying, she's desperate. Telling people, believe in me, believe in my vision, right? Believe in my progress, trust me off my work. And the, the, 
these tones are shifting in different positions. First, she's aggressive and combative, and I'm going to fight. Then it's, believe in me. Oh, then we got to come together. There's no, no stability here, right? While she tries to maintain her position and credibility, and then at the same time, she's like trying to rally support from her, you know, residents or constituents. You know, we, you know, she, if she, she's talking about, I'm, this is a war. I'm fighting for spiritual war, war politics, right? This is her defensive strategy. She's positioning herself as someone against corruption interference, which is hilarious. I mean, the fact that she mentioned that. We are in a war as it relates to people just being negative. Oh my God, it's a spiritual war, spiritual war. And if you're not spiritual, get off my line. Don't, don't even calm me down there because I don't need your hate. We are under attack. Yes, me, but you as well. If I'm under attack, we under attack. Because again, I am you, you are me. If they attack me, what makes you think they're not going to do you the same way? That's the only thing you can say about Tiffany. Yeah, y'all talking about her and all that, but she do show up and show out. She do everything for the seniors, the youth, and the middle class. Because they always have to forget about them. All these things happen because I care. But you got to pick a person that care. I keep saying this. And I know I'm repeating it. If you don't care, get out the way. People want these positions, because I got two, right? These positions for power. It's a power grab. That's it. Power and money grab. If y'all go check Warren lists and things of that nature, y'all will see the things they've been doing. So I guess she's going to start dropping dimes, right? I think at this point, she probably believes that all the close people in her circle have already talked to the feds, right? Keith Freeman and at this point, maybe Lacey at, at this point. Everyone has talked to the feds. She is losing support. She has her, the most loyal support that, you know, with Keith Price and Michael Dotson, and her boyfriend, and everyone else is kind of dropping, dropping off because who wants to go, who wants to deal with the feds, right? So if you disagree with her, you are corrupted, right? She repeatedly talked about her board has been corrupted by the ins, external influencers or something. And she is going to reveal the truth, guys. You got certain board members that, like I said, are bought and that are influenced by outside interference sitting here keeping up chaos in a township where there was none. Creating chaos in a township that has surpluses but want to keep a negative push out because everybody want to run for the seat and y'all got nothing to run on because I have been doing the work. That's why I keep telling you, judge me on my work. She is going to tell us, finally receipt, she's going to put out receipts of all the things that she just said. Because again, in this hour and a half ramble, she did not provide any proof of anything that she was saying. So I think it's tomorrow or something talking about how, you know, her story. I want to hear the story. What, what's happening? You're saying the board is corrupt. The board has been brought by outside influence, right? All right, so if she's promising that she's going to expose this corruption with concrete evidence, I would like to check it out. She did not provide any details of anything that she was talking about just now, but she mentioned that she will prove her claims and she's just waiting for the lawyer to say it's okay. She's preparing to retaliate against those who have been part of this alleged conspiracy. She's, gonna, she's positioning herself as someone that's not going to back down. And she's going to come out swinging and exposing the people that she says are putting out this smear campaign against her. She really building up this anticipation that she's going to reveal some of these people and that she believes is corrupt and have the facts and all the people who's causing trouble in the township and I guess in Dalton as well. But she's, again, I, I guess I'm going to keep saying it's, it's vague. There's no details about anything that she's saying. So we're waiting for the details. I think someone had a really good comment. A lack of self-awareness. I'm giving back to the people where it should always be. It should not be about people and their friends, people when, uh, give me a contract, hook my friend up with a job. It should not be that. It should be, if you're qualified to do the job, you get the job. That's it. But guess what? That's, that's in a real world, right? And that's what I thought I was living in until I kept getting attacked. <clears throat> so I kept getting attacked for the things I won't do for people. She's like, oh, people who hire their friends or, or try to do like favors when 
all of her hires, or many of them, were based on friendships, even though they weren't qualified. So I don't know what she's talking about when she mentions that. Like, she doesn't remember certain things that she does, and then she speaks it, and then it just seems silly. But, yeah, the fact that she's now turned around, like, she's going to be the one to fight injustice. She's going to fight the corruption. I think that's pretty funny. So let's talk about the tax rebate, right? How much money is going to be? Actually, I wrote it down. She's running, and she wants to be the supervisor for the township again, right? Continue to make that 250 or quarter million dollars a year. $2.2 million tax rebate. So Hanyard announced this tax rebate for homeowners in the township. She claims that this is demonstrating her commitment to easing the tax burden, the tax burden on the residents. How is she going to do that? And I'm going to just say this. I am giving away. And it ain't just me. I'll say we. Thornton Township, under my uh, supervisor position, GA is giving away $2.2 million tax refund. And you know why I'm doing that? Because I heard your cries. You all said property taxes went up all over. And they did all over. But a lot of people don't know how to read the property tax bill. On your bill, just so you understand how this works, on your property tax bill, it's so many different government bodies that take a portion of your tax proceeds. One is the school board. Two, library board, park board, South Suburban College, that board, your village or your city, uh, Mosquito Bay, everybody takes a portion of your property taxes. And that's what makes up the, the property tax, the, the amount, whatever the amount is, to say $3,000. But it's a portion of everybody. Oh, in Thorn Township. But did you know that Thorn Township only takes five cents? Remember that? Um, I think it was a paper that we put out. And we said Thorn Township only makes up five cents per dollar. So some residents that seniors are on senior freezes. Some residents that senior pay a dollar or five dollars. Did y'all know that? I know y'all didn't. But that's the truth. And the five cents that we take, our, our portion here, at Thorn Township, I'm gonna give it back to you. <laughs> and I'm gonna give it all back to you, 100%. 2.2 million dollars coming back to you residents of Thornton Township. I gotta ask you guys in the chat, is that legal? Is she allowed, is she allowed to do that? Can she take 2.2 million dollars and use it as a way to, I mean, it's not campaign money, but you know, if most of the homeowners are probably seniors, and I don't have all the, I don't have the demographics right now. If anyone in the chat that's in the township, you let me know. Most people who own homes are older people. And when Illinois has such high taxes for homes, and then you have someone that says, I will take care of you. Would you vote for that person if you are if you had a house and you're and you're a senior citizen? I mean, it's a clever way of getting of getting elected. And the thing is, Lexi, it don't necessarily have to even be done. It's just her talking about it. Because now it's just, again, it's it's narrative, right? It's politics. They, she can say, I was trying to give you money. The trustee stopped me. I was gonna give you your tax whatever, rebate, whatever. And they stopped me. So a senior that's not following Facebook, probably not on YouTube. They're not, you know, maybe they, they catch a little bit, but they hear that and say, wait a minute, you cost me. I have a fixed income. I'm struggling. I mean, that's what the township is for, for people who need, who need that extra help. So that's a clever way. She, it may not even happen. Like you said, it, it, it's the trustees can say, no, they probably will. And they say, look, they try same thing with the employees and not paying the employees at township. They don't want you, they don't want you paid. Like it's it's a zero one binary answer. It's not which in reality it's 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 a complicated situation. It's a lot of context. There's layers to why they say there's some issues with the spending. That's why we're saying no right now. We're not saying we don't want you to have money. There's issues happening. But she doesn't use those that that way of communication. Um, the township has done this tax re Refund says, nothing she's done with her ideas except cooking with Tiffany and Township Talk. Thank you, Stephanie. But, it, it, you know, 
the branding is always something that she likes to do. It's always a way for her to make it seem like she came up with it. Because she likes to brag about what not a lot of people knew about the township until she now is international, mostly because of her behavior. She blames others for stopping progress. But when you when you see the failure of the meetings, the way the meetings are going, the lack of quorum suggests leadership problems. If you, you can't provide a safe environment for your trustees, that is against you as a leader. Throwing out accusations of corruption without any clear, actionable evidence. We're all looking for it. It just raises questions about how honest she is as talking about these certain things. She called Carmen a liar. What? What did she lie about? Or what are you talking about? Again, I guess maybe we'll, we'll hear that in a couple of days. 